I've been seeing a lot of review about this Ashanti papaya and honey soup. I didn't want to try it for a long time because I'm always scared of bar soup because sometimes they give you white patches, irritation and everything. And I don't want all of that. And sometimes it can also be too drying. But then, here is my honest review. So if you don't know, this soap is made in Thailand and it's a skin like lean soap. If you have dark spots on your body or you have some places that are darker than the rest of your body that you want to brighten this soap is going to be effective for it which is the major reason why i got this body soap like i said i still suffer from hyperpigmentation on my body so i'm always looking out for any product that is going to help me just even out my skin tone are you guys i am surprised for the amount that this body this bath soap is retailing for i did not expect the results that i got i am not even kidding i feel like I just got on the bar soap trend because you guys this soap contains q10 it contains aha and bha which you all know that exfoliating agents the aha and bha so this product is going to be serving as an exfoliant at the same time a brightening bar soap apart from that it also contains papaya extracts it contains um coconut palm oil so it has hydrating little bit of hydrating ingredients and the major ingredients in it is the papaya extract the aha and the bha they did not tell us the particular aha and bha that they used but they said it has aha and bha so by bha i believe it's a salicylic acid and the aha is either one of those mandelic lactic glycolic or whatever so it has um Q10, which is also an antioxidant that helps to brighten your skin. It contains vitamin C and E as well. So, brightening ingredients on top, exfoliating ingredients on top. <laughs> so now I have been seeing a lot of videos about you people getting a fake. So I'm just going to tell you how to spot which one is fake and which one is the original. So the first thing you are going to do if you want to spot which one is fake and which one is the original is to scan the barcode on the package of the product so this is a barcode now if you should scan this barcode it's going to take you directly to the ashanti.com um website if you are scanning your own barcode and it's not taking you to ashanti.com and you are not getting to the exact website of this brand you might have gotten a fake another thing that i actually find out from mine is has logo on it so this is how the packaging is supposed to look it's supposed to have um, a lot of ashanti logo on. and also on the soap itself so you guys see there is ashanti logo on the soap itself so if yours doesn't have this ashanti logo you might have gotten a fake another thing that i found out is pressing the side of the soap so if you got the fake if you press the side of the soap and it is not pressing it is add like a rod you might have gotten a fake one. so just be careful out there because if you get the ashanti fake everything that you don't want is going to happen to you you are going to get white patches you are going to get irritation sometimes you might even get stretch marks so just be on the lookout for the fake and please do not buy the fake so now let me tell you what exactly this soap did to my skin so guys i noticed the difference in my skin tone after three weeks of using this product consistently and when i say consistently i mean that i use this product morning and night and i know that might not be for everybody because this soap can be quite drying it is not hydrating so here is how i use my when i use this soap i first i let it lather because it lathers so well it foams so well i like when bath soap the only reason why I would choose bath soap sometimes over body wash is because of how much they lather. Some body wash do not lather, but this this forms so well. So all you have to do is to cut this soap into like smaller, smaller sizes. Because when you expose the whole of this product at a time, like you want to use everything at once, it might reduce the effectiveness of the soap. So you are going to cut it into smaller sizes, and then they take the little piece that you want to use for some time to your bedroom so that you not reduce the effectiveness of the old soap so what you are going to do is use wet your palms and then use your palm to activate the um activate the foaming effect of the soap so you are going to use it and then you are going to use it to rub all over your body rub it everywhere that you have dark spots or if you want to use it all over your body, maybe you just want to brighten your skin. You want that instant radiant. You want that radiant glowing skin. Or you, maybe your body, your overall body is darker 
than your face then you might use the soap all over so you just use it to wash your spray and you're going to leave it for a few minutes and by a few minutes i mean like one or two minutes so that your body can soak in all of the active ingredients in this soap like the vitamin c the vitamin e um the papaya extract your body is going to soak because if you should use the body soap the bath soap without letting it um, stay on your skin for some minutes you are not going to get the effective result from the soap so what you are going to do is let it sit on your skin for like one to two minutes then you are not going to wash your so what did i like to do is to follow up with my body wash because this soap can be drying when you use this soap alone before you are done with your routine you are already feeling that tightness in your skin so what I do is is after I use the soap, then I follow up with my body wash. But mind you, my body wash is just a moisturizing body wash. So I'm trying to replenish the moisture my skin has lost instantly. So that I do not wait until I am out of the bedroom to use my body lotion. By that time, when I use the soap, I've gotten all of the brightening benefits. Then I follow up with my body wash and get all the moisturizing benefits. So even when I'm moisturizing my body, I already feel like nothing is wrong with my skin and did it brighten my skin yes it did i got results in three ways and there's just my skin tone is just lighter i don't know i don't know how to show you yet like it is not one to four shades lighter or anything like that it's still my skin color but brighter like brighter all the places that i have that spot i have started to see results and it doesn't give no clues that's the amazing thing because the reason why i'm always scared of bath soap is the fact that once you start using some bath soaps a lot of people have been complaining about it start giving them knuckles but i tried with this one and i did not get knuckles from it so there's no my, my skin is still as it is but brighter and radiant and more supple and useful which is what i think everybody that wants to buy this ashanti soap should be looking for if you're looking for you want to go from point A to point B, or you want to go from Tolani to <laughs> Nengi type of glow. This is not the device kind of for you. What this is going to do is to help you even out your skin tone, especially for those that have dark spots on their body. This is especially good for it. And yes, what do I think about this? I think it is totally worth it. It is retaining for, it is less than one five, I guess. So it is so cheap and it does what it's supposed to do. For me, this soap is a 10 over 10. I think I might have gotten the one bath soap that I'm going to stick with. So if you have that spot on your body, you want to brighten your skin tone, Ashanti papaya soap. I recommend.